China is ramping up its investments in the South Pacific. What does that mean for Bank of China's internationalization strategy? The Bank of China is focused on growing financial services in all developing countries, including those in the South Pacific. Last June, we held a special training course in this region called the Belt and Road International Finance Exchange for ministers and business leaders from the South Pacific. The results have promoted our communications with the region. This is my first trip to Papua New Guinea, and we'd like to do more here. We now have our footprint in 56 countries and regions. By 2020, we'll be in over 60 countries and regions. Our emphasis is the Belt and Road. We already have offices in 23 countries and regions. This year, we'll add more. What are your key takeaways in terms of risk control in that many of those Belt and Road countries are developing and are considered high risk? Our Belt and Road strategy is basically four things. One is following the national strategy, the second operating according to commercial principles, the third allocating resources in a timely fashion. That means doing our homework and prepare everything from having staff who speak a language to communicating with the local regulators. And fourth, good risk control. What will we add to the local society, to jobs, to the culture? Along the Belt and Road, we have made loans worth $100 billion, covering over 600 projects. In terms of profitability, we are in it for the medium to long term, not short term. In the South Pacific, we will use New Zealand and Australia as a base to expand. We will find a model that fits this region. Two big news items for Bank of China this week. One is starting its own wealth management company. Another is launching its innovation center for finance in Singapore. Tell us what that means for the company's strategy. I see huge changes in financial technology, big data, blockchain and AI. We're trying to adapt to the changes and lead the Bank of China in fintech. We just opened an innovation center in Singapore. We also have innovation centers in London, Tokyo, New York, Hong Kong, and Macau. We just announced our wealth management subsidiary. This would better standardize our asset management, so we combine our assets expansion with risk control. We also want to become more professional, so our citizens' money is not just parked in savings, but also invested as well.